Hello, everyone. You're welcome to my channel. Today, we shall be discussing equation of continuity. Equation of continuity of a fluid. Now, let's read out the question we have. A taper pipe system with a varying diameter at section A and B are 10 cm and 15 cm respectively. Find the discharge through the pipe if the velocity of the water flowing through the pipe at section A is 5 m per second. Find the velocity at section B. Once again, a taper pipe system with a varying diameter at section A and B are 10 cm and 15 cm respectively. Find the discharge through the pipe if the velocity of the water passing through the pipe at section A is 5 meters per second. Find the velocity at section B. Today we have a tapered pipe system. That is, a, a piping system of varying diameters across the section. Now, we have our taper system at section A with diameter 10 cm, at section B with diameter 2, 15 cm. Whereas at section A, the rate of flow, the velocity of flowing is 5 m per second. At section B, the velocity is unknown, which we are asked to find. Now, let's pull out our parameters from our question. Diameter 1, 10 cm, we need to convert it to meter. So, in so doing, 10 cm equals 0 0.1 meter. Diameter 2 equals 15 cm, which gives us 0 0.15 meter. Now, for us to use equation of continuity, we need to convert our diameter to area. So, therefore, our area 1 will equals pi d squared over 4. Pi d squared over 4. So, in so doing, it equals pi times 0 0.1 over 4, which gives us 0 0.07854 meters squared. That's the area 1, using the diameter 1. Now, we need to find area 2, A2, which equals pi d squared over 4, which gives us pi over 4 multiplied by d diameter 2 squared. So, which gives us 0.01767 meters squared. So, now, don't let us forget that we are asked to find the discharge, find the discharge through pipe if the velocity of the water flowing through pipe at section A equals 5 centimeters. So, we need to find the discharge at A section, at this section. So, in so doing, by using continuity equation of fluid mechanics, which equals A1 V1 equals A2 V2. Once again, A1 V1 equals A2 V2, which is the law of continuity equation of fluids. So, therefore, our discharge at A equals what we, our area at section A multiplied by the velocity being given, which is 5, five meters per second. So, which gives us Q equals 0 0.078 times 5, which gives us 0 0.3927 meter cube per second. Meter cube per second. So, which is telling us that is a volumetric flow rate. So, our Q equals 0 0.078 times 5, which gives us 0 0.3927 meter cube per second, which is our volumetric flow rate. So that's our discharge. Now, don't let us forget that we are asked to find the velocity at section, at section B. Velocity at section B, which, which is unknown. So therefore, by using 
velocity via section B. By using continuity equation of fluid mechanics, we have A1 V1 equals A2 V2. So our V2, which is velocity at section B, second section equals A1 V1 over A2. So our A1 is being given 0. Point, we've calculated it 0. 0.0785 times 5 all over A2, 0. 0.01767. So by calculating this, we have our V2 equals 2.22 meter per second, which is our velocity at the section B of the pipe, pipe, piping system. Thank you very much. Once again, don't forget to click the subscribe button. Thank you very much. Bye.